let the range of the function this be alpha to beta then the distance of the point from the line is what we have to find so yahan pe hum log ek formula use karne wale hain cos theta cos 60 degree minus theta into cos 60 degree plus theta is equal to 1 by 4 cos 3 theta this is very basic formula in trigonometry and we are going to use it so what is fx fx is 6 plus 16 times and this part cos x cos 60 minus x cos 60 plus x this will be 1 by 4 cos 3x then we have sin 3x and cos 6x so we will be using one more basic formula of trigonometry which is 2 sin a cos a is equal to sin 2a so using this formula we can club this cos 2x and sin sorry cos 3x and sin 3x this we can first cancel so we will be clubbing this cos 3x and sin 3x it will give us 2 we can borrow from here so we'll left with 2 cos 6x from here and from here we will have sin 6x so let's use this 2 sin a cos a one more time and we will be getting finally 6 plus sin of 12x and we are looking for range of this we know that range of sin theta is minus 1 to 1 irrespective of what is the angle provided it is taking all the possible inputs so when you are adding minus 1 it will be 6 minus 1 5 and 6 plus 1 7 so range is 5 to 7 which is your alpha to beta so alpha is 5 beta is 7 now we have to find the distance of this point from this line so again we are using a very basic formula from a straight line the distance of a point from a line what do we do in that we plug the coordinate of the point in the x and y value of this expression part of line so 3 into 5 plus 4 into 7 plus 12 divided by root of x coefficient square plus y coefficient square so it will turn out to be 15 plus 28 plus 12 55 by 5 which will be 11 let's see what is the answer given a which is 